The Tigris is the eastern member of the two great rivers that define Mesopotamia, the other being the Euphrates. The river flows south from the mountains of southeastern Turkey through Iraq and empties itself into the Persian Gulf. Geography The Tigris is 1,850 kilometers long, rising in the Taurus Mountains of eastern Turkey about 25 kilometers southeast of the city of Alazig and about 30 kilometers from the headwaters of the Euphrates. The river then flows for 400 kilometers through Turkish territory before becoming the border between Syria and Turkey. This stretch of 44 kilometers is the only part of the river that is located in Syria. Close to its confluence with the Euphrates, the Tigris splits into several channels. First, the artificial Shat al Hay branches off to join the Euphrates near Nasiriyah. Second, the Shat al Muminar and Majar al Kabir branches off to feed the central marshes. Further downstream, two other distributary channels branches off, which feeds the Hor as air marshes. The main channel continues southwards and is joined by the al Qasera, which drains the Hor as air marshes. Finally, the Tigris joins the Euphrates near al Kurna to form the Shat al-Arab. According to Pliny and other ancient historians, the Euphrates originally had its outlet into the sea separate from that of the Tigris. Baghdad, the capital of Iraq, stands on the banks of the Tigris. The port city of Basra straddles the Shat al-Arab. In ancient times, many of the great cities of Mesopotamia stood on or near the Tigris, drawing water from it to irrigate the civilization of the Sumerians. Notable Tigris-side cities included Nineveh, Cte Siphon, and Seleucia. While the city of Lagash was irrigated by the Tigris via a canal dug around 2400 BC, navigation, the Tigris has long been an important transport route in a largely desert country. Shallow draft vessels can go as far as Baghdad, but rafts are needed for transport upstream to Mosul. One steamer, the Tigress, was wrecked in a storm which sank and killed 20. Chesney proved the river navigable to powered craft. Later, the Euphrates and Tigris Steam Navigation Company was established in 1861 by the Lynch Brothers Trading Company. They had two steamers in service. By 1908, ten steamers were on the river. Tourists boarded steam yachts to venture inland as this was the first age of archaeological tourism, and the sites of Ur and Cte Siphon became popular to European travelers. In the First World War, during the British conquest of Ottoman Mesopotamia, Indian and Thames river paddlers were used to supply General Townsend's army. See Siege of Kut and the Fall of Baghdad. The Tigris flotilla included vessels Cleo, Espigler, Lawrence, Odin, Armed Tug Comet, Armed Launchers Louis Pelly, Minor, Shaitan, Sumana, and Stern Wheelers Mozaferi, Mozaffer. These were joined by Royal Navy Fly-class gunboats, Butterfly, Cranefly, Dragonfly, Mayfly, Sawfly, Snakefly, and Mantis, Moth, and Tarantula. After the war, river trade declined in importance during the 20th century as the Basra-Baghdad-Mosul Railway. An unfinished portion of the Baghdad Railway was completed and roads took over much of the freight traffic. Etymology the ancient Greek form Tigris was borrowed from Old Persian Tigre, itself from Elamite Tigre, itself from Sumerian Edenia. The original Sumerian Edenia or Idagina was probably from Asterisk Aegina, running water, which can be interpreted as the swift river, contrasted to its neighbor, the Euphrates, whose leisurely pace caused it to deposit more silt and build up a higher bed than the Tigris. The Sumerian form was borrowed into Akkadian as Idiklut, and from there into the other Semitic languages. Another name for the Tigris used in Middle Persian was Arv and Rud, literally, Swift River. Today, however, Arv and Rud refers to the confluence of the Euphrates and Tigris rivers. In Kurdish, it is also known as Avamazin, the Great Water. The name of the Tigris in languages that have been important in the region. 
management and water quality. The Tigris is heavily dammed in Iraq and Turkey to provide water for irrigating the arid and semi-desert regions bordering the river valley. Damming has also been important for averting floods in Iraq, to which the Tigris has historically been notoriously prone following April melting of snow in the Turkish mountains. Recent Turkish damming of the river has been the subject of some controversy, for both its environmental effects within Turkey and its potential to reduce the flow of water downstream. Mosul Dam is the largest dam in Iraq. Water from both rivers is used as a means of pressure during conflicts. In 2014 a major breakthrough in developing consensus between multiple stakeholder representatives of Iraq and Turkey on a plan of action for promoting exchange and calibration of data and standards pertaining to Tigris river flows was achieved. The consensus which is referred to as the Geneva Consensus on Tigris River was reached at a meeting organized in Geneva by the think tank Strategic Foresight Group. Religion and Mythology In Sumerian mythology, the Tigris was created by the god Enki, who filled the river with flowing water. In Hittite and Hurin mythology, Aranza is the Hurin name of the Tigris River, which was divinized. He was the son of Kumabi and the brother of Teshub and Tasmasu, one of the three gods spat out of Kumabi's mouth onto Mount Kanzuris. Later he colluded with Anu and the Teshub to destroy Kumabi. The Tigris appears twice in the Bible. First, in the book of Genesis, it is the third of the four rivers branching off the river issuing out of the Garden of Eden. The second mention is in the book of Daniel, wherein the prophet states he received one of his visions, when I was by that great river the Tigris. The river Tigris is also mentioned in Islam. The tomb of Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal and Sayyid Abdul Razak Jalani is in Baghdad and the flow of Tigris restricts the number of visitors.